Centrifuge was de designed and developed in 2008 by Leon Griffin. Uh, he needed a better way to clean waste vegetable oil to run in his diesel. It also works on waste motor oil, transmission fluid, uh, even works uh, to separate algae from water. So the basic principle is anything that will settle out of the oil, uh, the centrifuge will do it faster. So um, oil comes in the top and then uh, gets, gets spun in this bowl here. The dirt and water get trapped and the good oil, the clean oil, comes out this tube. I'm going to show you some more details about the components of the centrifuge and discuss uh, some more of the principles and, and give, you, give you a better idea of how it works. The foundation of the centrifuge are the castings. These are made of high quality aluminum. Uh, aluminum is one of the least reactive metals with waste vegetable oil so you'll get a lot less polymerization. Uh, we have a special lid. It's got proprietary venting technology. Um, if you're looking to remove additional water, you can open up one of these vents, uh, stick a tube on it, and then water will ev actually evaporate out the lid. Um, again, these castings are really high quality. They're made of aluminum, and we have a lifetime warranty on them, uh, so uh, they're definitely good. These are custom-made motors here in the U.S. They have a 20-year lifespan. Uh, there's a channel cut in the top uh, to allow any oil that makes it past the seal to flow out. Uh, there's two seals here, and then there's sealed bearings on the inside. Uh, these are great motors, uh, have a 20-year lifespan, and they're built to last. So we have two different models of our standard centrifuge, which is this casting. Uh, it either comes in the basic or the extreme, and the difference is the motor. Uh, the basic motor spins at 3450 RPM, it's got an on-off switch, and plugs right into the wall. Uh, the extreme centrifuge has a 6000 RPM motor, and it has a variable frequency drive to run the motor to get it up to 6000 RPM and uh, you need to do some additional wiring on this. Uh, it's a $300 uh, increase over the basic. And the basic, uh, they both clean really well. Um, however, you're gonna get the maximum clean and be able to run faster flow rates with the extreme centrifuge. So inside the centrifuge is where the magic happens uh, and it's with our cast aluminum rotor. Uh, other than being Nice to look at, uh, this thing is excellent at trapping water and debris that's present in oil. Uh, this one has our booster cone inside. Basically, the, the, while this is spinning, water and dirt is trapped on these walls and the good oil flows out and up over the top and gets trapped and collected in the centrifuge housing. Every 300 gallons or so, you'll need to clean out the inside of the bowl. And what you do is you just unbolt it. It's one nut. It comes off really easy. So you take the bowl off, and on the inside, there'll be cakes, dirt, and debris. And uh, you just scrape that out, rinse it out with some hot soapy water, and then you're ready to go. Very simple by design. So now I'm going to give you a little demonstration of the centrifuge. Basically oil comes in the top, it's fed in, flows into the centrifuge, comes out, sprays out of the bowl, hits the lid, hits the side, and then drains out this clean port. Meant to be gravity fed, uh, gravity in, gravity out. I'm going to fire this up. Uh, it spins at 3450 RPM and I took the vibration dampeners off the feet uh, just so you can see how smoothly it runs and uh, how well balanced it is. Uh, so I'm going to fire it up and I'm going to pour some oil in and you'll notice eventually after the bowl fills up it'll start coming out the clean port here. Uh, we have another port on the bottom and that's a feature of the raw power centrifuge. Uh, the bowl actually drains when it stops, so when the centrifuge stops, you'll see it coming out the, the dirty port here.
So we're fired up. Notice it runs nice and smoothly, no vibration. Got some colored water in here. I'm gonna. Right now the bow is filling up. You'll soon see it coming out the clean port. That's essentially how it works. What happens when the centrifuge is running? Oil fills up this bowl and the clean oil sprays out the top in a fine mist, collects on the sides and flows out the clean port. I'm going to demonstrate this now with the lid off. Pour oil in, the bowl will fill up and you'll see the mist coming out the top. See the oil inside the bowl spinning? Once that drains. Alright, there it comes.